Hi, I'm John and this is the Chicago Web Designer Show. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to start designing a website. Well, the first thing you're going to do to start designing a website is pick out a good domain name. A good domain name is something that you can explain to someone very clearly. It's easy to spell and uh, you don't have to uh, think about it and it's easy to remember. So, first thing you do to pick out a good domain name is go to a domain name registrar. Try a couple different variations. Try to get a .com or a .net. If you're an organization, you can get a .org. And then register. Most domain names cost about 10 to $20 per year. And every year you do want to set it up to automatically renew so that you keep your domain name. After you have your domain name registered, the next thing you need to set up is web hosting. Web hosting is where your website is going to reside on the internet. Well, when visitors go to it to access the information on it. So, you want to set your website up with a reputable web host, a, uh, a large company that is going to be reliable for the website to stay up and running constantly. Once you have hosting set up, the next thing to do is start building your website. What are the tools you need to design websites? To start, you need a computer. Your options are a PC or a Mac. I recommend having both. That way you have no limitations when it comes to what software is available to you. Next, you need a good quality mouse because you're going to be using it a lot. A scanner and a digital camera are also very important. And a phone comes in handy. Web design software is the next step. Once you have your computer up and running, you've got to have some software that you use to build your website. Even though you could technically build your whole website just in Notepad or WordPad that comes on most computers, it helps to have a decent dedicated web design program like Dreamweaver from Adobe or Qt FTP. Both of these programs have FTP functions built into them to also allow you to upload your files once they've been created onto your web host or web server. You also need a graphics program. Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Fireworks are two of the most popular. Thanks for watching and this has been the first episode of the Chicago Web Designer Show and I hope you'll join me for more episodes as we learn more about how to design your new website.